Did I put edge control in? Mm -mm. Hold please. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. Also, if this is your first time here, you're in for a treat because you guys are getting to know me. Is that a treat? I hope so. So on Twitter, I asked you guys to just ask me whatever, whatever you want, whatever your heart desired, and you guys had a lot of questions. So in this video, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna talk. We're gonna have a conversation. What's happening with my hands here? See, this is what happened when makeup's not in front of me. I'm just like, like what's happening? We don't know. All right, before we start, subscribe to my channel. Don't be like that, don't be petty. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You guys can do whatever you want. All right, first question is from Love Marcella. What did you see yourself doing when you were younger? Any dreams of being a doctor, teacher, etc.? Um, No, not a doctor or teacher. I wanted to be a veterinarian. Vet veterinarian? <laughs> you know what I was about to say? Vegetarian? No, a vet. A vet. I want to be a vet. Um, I wanted to do that when I was like five. You know, and then as I got older, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew that I was able to draw and that was like my only skill. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Not my only skill, but that's what I like to do. So as I grew up, I was like, oh, I'll be an artist. I'll do this. I'll do that. And then I fell in love with makeup. Boom, boom, boom. And the rest is history. And when I first started doing makeup, guys, I didn't know it would turn into this. I was just doing makeup, doing what I loved. And I was like, I'll do wedding makeup forever. This will be my career and I'll be fine and maybe I'll do celebrity makeup and I'll be great. And those were like my goals. So never expected to have a YouTube channel or or any of this. Next question from Miss LaShawn, baby. When's the next vacation? Where are you and Les going? Whew, when's the next vacation? So we haven't planned a vacation. I'm just trying to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Les just started his new job. I'm really trying to build my YouTube channel, which means I need to be home more, I need to film more, so we don't really have a vacation planned yet. Maybe for his birthday, we'll do a little like weekend vacation. I just love the Caribbean, so I would love to go back anywhere down there. Aruba maybe, but we don't have anything planned right now. I know, it makes me sad. That was like a sad one. I was like, we don't have anything planned. Wah, wah. Next question is from XOXO Roxy. What is the current thing in your life right now you struggle with the most? What do I struggle with the most? My weight? How about that? <laughs> like in my eye like twitched when I said that. You see, this is why I'm drinking this. This is coconut water and um, what is this? Uh, apple cider vinegar and lemon. Yeah, this isn't my meal. This is just what I'm drinking right now. So, you know, the I always struggle with my weight. My weight always fluctuates. It's been like that my whole life. If I don't work out, if I don't eat healthy, like I can just blow up, you know? So that's one thing I struggle with. I always have to be aware of what I eat because it's like, if I eat a piece of cake, listen, my thighs, it'll be all in my thighs the next day. I don't know how some of you, some of y'all just be eating fast food every day, not gain weight. I don't know. It, for me, it's like I see it in my face, my neck, my jawline, my thighs, my hips, everything. All right, next question from Angie Bergs. Ooh, your little avatar is cute. Your little Abby, blue eyeshadow. I don't know what's going on. Cute blue or maybe you just got blue eyes. That's cute though. Was there a low point in your life that ended up being a blessing in disguise? So this is like my favorite question, like one of my favorite questions. Was there a low point in your life that ended up being a blessing in disguise? So when I was, and if you guys have seen like, a year and a half ago, I did a video called My Makeup Journey, and I just talked about like my whole journey from college up until this point. And there was one point when I moved from Arizona back home to California, and I was working at MAC, and I really just like, <laughs> it's like I couldn't even afford to live in LA. You know, I was just doing so bad. My student loans were taking like half of my check, and um, I really just didn't have money. <laughs> that sums it up, and it's like I could only ask my parents for so much, I was taking all their money. It was just a point where I was like, okay, I don't, I like don't have any money in my account, you know? And I just remember crying in my, in my, um, bathroom. Like I was like taking a shower. I remember this so clearly. I was taking a shower and I was just crying because I was like, this isn't like my destiny, you know? Like I, I'm not meant to live in this like crazy, nasty, roach infested studio bedroom apartment, um, struggling every day. Like this isn't what, is meant for me, I could just feel it. And so I feel like from that point on, things started to get better. Um, 
but that was like my lowest point. It was just like, it can't get any worse than this. Like it literally cannot get any worse than this because this is the worst. So when I look back, I feel like that experience of not really having a lot and just trying to find a way out of the hole really like, I feel like has kept me humble, you know? Cause it's like, I, I remember where I came from and I look back at all the hard work and just what it's taken me to get here. That's the lowest point, but it's also like, I'm glad I went through, like you have to struggle, you know? And it's like, I think a lot of us talk about struggling, but when you've really struggled, it's like you really appreciate where you're at right now, you know? Thanks, Angie. That was a long answer, wasn't it? Breezy405 wants to know, who is a beauty influencer you admire? Um, you know, there's so many of us that I really admire everyone's hard work. Like I have a lot of close friends, you guys know who they are and I feel like we all just work so hard. Um, and I admire all of them. I just, I admire hard work. Boom. Next question is from Allison. She said, what advice would you give a beginner at the gym starting out with fitness? Okay. The hardest part is actually getting to the gym. So I would recommend if you're just starting, maybe start on the treadmill, do like 20 minutes on the treadmill, just do cardio, just so you're like able to get into the gym, you know, cause that's the hardest part getting in. And I know sometimes when you go to the gym, it can be overwhelming because people are like, oh, 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 like they know what they're doing and you may not and it's scary. So I think starting off small, like start on the treadmill, do 20 minutes on the treadmill, 20 minutes on the stair master as fast or slow as you want. Um, I think classes really help because there's a lot of people in classes that don't know what they're doing and then there's a lot of very advanced, well I shouldn't say don't know, but intermediate to advanced. So like Soul Cycle, Orange Theory, classes at the gym. Um, and just don't be like afraid. Like when I whenever I'm at the gym and I see somebody like with bad form or just not really like killing it, I'm like, wow, that that was me like a few years ago, you know? So it's like everybody starts somewhere and I think People just, when they look at you, don't think they're judging you. Just think that they're happy that you're here, you know? All right, next question. A Worthy News, her name's Amber, wants to know, why is your skin so flawless? Ha ha ha, but really, <laughs> what tips can you give about skincare and what steps do you think are non-negotiable in your regimen? I, I'm like, where do I begin? First, take your makeup off every night. That may, Listen, if you're breaking out and you sleep with your makeup on, that's why. You have to take care of your skin. Um, drinking water. So drink at least three liters of water. That makes a big difference in how your skin looks. Eat vegetables. I'm, I'm like dead ass serious right now. Like eat vegetables, green leaf, vitamin D. Like it's just so good for your skin. And just make sure you're consistent with your um, regimen. So you don't have to have crazy expensive products, but just make sure you're cleaning and moisturizing your skin twice a day. So in the morning, at night, always take off your makeup, wash, moisturize, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you can, like if you can afford serums, get serums because they penetrate deeper into your skin. And if you have any type of concern, dehydration, um, whatever your concern is, there's a serum for you and they really do help. All right, G Money, 69, 69, 21, 21 wants to know, now that you and Les have been living together for a while, has it been easy adapting with each other's way of living? Uh, yes. I think both of us just want this to work. So both of us are willing to put forth the effort. Like if you're in a relationship and you're just like, oh, I don't know if it's gonna go anywhere. It's like, you're not really gonna put forth the effort, but if you're like, okay, this is my soulmate. We're gonna be the, together forever. You're gonna make compromises. So, you know, most of the time, like if something gets on my nerves or on his nerves, like we kind of laugh about it. You know, like if he takes out the trash and forgot forgets to put like a bag in the trash can, we'll laugh at it. Like just little things like that. It's been good so far. Ask me in a few months, so I might be like, hmm. This is from Jen Ferreira, 95. What's the hardest part about being a beauty influencer? So the hardest part for me, I would say, is just having so many eyes on me all the time. It's not the hardest part, but it's it's something that I'm constantly aware of, you know? So if I'm Snapchatting or if I'm doing out and about being silly, it's like I have to remember that there's so many eyes watching me and that I should always set an example. So that's why you guys don't see me um, going crazy on people anymore. Remember, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know I used to put people on blast when they would talk about me. I would post them on my Snapchat and be like, this is how it feels. And it's like, I can't really do that anymore because it's like bullying, you know? So things like that. It's like, you just have to be more aware, I would say. 
All right, next question is from Love Marcella. Any current shows you and Les watch together? Currently watching The Shy. So we watch Netflix all the time. Um, we were watching This Is Us. We actually watch every show together. Game of Thrones, uh, The Walking, like every show, The Walking Dead. I make him watch Housewives with me. <laughs> um, this Is Us. So This Is Us, like it was weird. It's weird because like I love that show, but then it started to get like deep to where I'm like, I'm sad every time I watch this, I don't wanna watch it, you know? But we watch pretty much everything together. Yeah. Next question is from SK So Peachy. What age would you like to start having kids? Hmm. Um, maybe in a couple years. You know, like I'm just, I just don't feel ready. And I know everyone says like, you'll never be ready, but it's like not time right now. You know, I'm, I still got some things I need to do. Plus, like, I want to be married, and I want to be married for at least, like, a year. I want to enjoy being married before I have kids. Okay, makeup by Kayla. I think it's Kayla. I don't know. Wants to know, I don't know if it's too soon for a dog, but will you get another one? Adopt one of Luster Lux pups. <laughs> so, at Katie's pups, she has, she's fostering puppies. Um, when I move into a house, I'll definitely get another dog, but... Right now, I it's just like, I don't want another dog in my apartment and I just travel too much, you know? When I get to a point where I'm in a house and I can have somebody come watch my dog in my house, then, you know, I'll be, I'll be ready. Then I'll be ready. Brittany Ross wants to know, whatever became of the turtle? What turtle? <laughs> she said, just kidding. <laughs> What's next on the travel itinerary? So. Um, well, this isn't really traveling, but I should tell you guys this. I will be at Gen BD on March, I think it's 24th, 25th. Um, I'm going to Toronto in April and then New York. So nothing crazy, like Toronto I'm excited about, New York I'm excited about, but um, those are all work trips. I haven't planned any personal vacations yet. Yet, last year was like the year of personal vacations. I went on so many trips. <laughs> I like went all the way around the world, I feel like. All right, Emma Malaka wants to know, is there anything you don't like about yourself would change? If so, what is it? P.S. I love your makeup videos and you're so talented. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, is there anything I don't like about myself? No. I mean, if there was, I wouldn't be able to change it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, I feel like you become like your most confident when you just accept who you are. You know, this is who I am. Well, I didn't like my teeth. Okay, I will say that, but that's fixable. There's nothing about my personality or anything that I don't like. It's, you know, I don't like ever think about stuff I can't change because it's like my thighs, you know, it's like they're, I'm always enough thighs. So it's like, I'm not gonna sit here and like think about it all the time because that, that's how you go crazy. But I do like, I like having thick thighs, you know, but I want them a little thinner. I do want them a little thinner, but I do like them. Annalise wants to know, what advice would you give to someone who would like to be an influencer in beauty and fashion? You have to think about like, why do you want to be an influencer? You know, um, I think a lot of times people see us doing it and they're like, oh, they're traveling. They're doing this. I want to do that because I want to travel. But it's like it's more it's more to it than just that. So um, anytime you pursue your career, you should really do like what speaks to your heart, like what you love doing. So if you love styling yourself, then, you know, start posting on Instagram, um, start a, a blog and see see where it takes you. But just remember, always do like what your heart desires. And um, if you love makeup, then start a YouTube channel, you know? Make sure you upload every day, upload twice a week, every day. <laughs> upload every week, twice a week, as much as you can, just to get, you know, your views up, your, your subscribers up, and it eventually will happen. If it's meant to happen, it'll happen, you know? All right, Caitlin Spaulding. Ooh, that's a fancy name. Wants to know, what's your future looking like with your boyfriend? Do you guys have the same future goals, same morals, etc.? Yes. <laughs> uh, but no, really, we do. We talk about our future all the time. We communicate. We're always communicating. We both want the same things. You know, we want to get married. Les wants to get married just like I do, okay? Like, we, we are each other's soulmates. <laughs> no but really we yeah we have the same goals we talk it's like you have to if you're in a relationship and you see yourself with that person you have to talk you know you, you have to talk about what you want your feelings everything your goals 
All right, Sugar Coated wants to know, what is some advice you can give someone who wants to start their own YouTube channel? If you wanna start your own YouTube channel and say like you can't afford it, and I'm just saying this because this is how I was, I would film in front of natural light until you can get like better lights or film in front of a ring light. Don't focus on having the right equipment because that will come, you know, in due time. Just focus on uploading. So if you don't have a camera, use your, use your iPhone. Okay, flip it this way, record this way. If you record yourself this way, or I guess it would be this way, um, it's like HD, okay? Try and learn Final Cut. If you ever have like, any problems or you just don't know how to do something, Google it. I Google everything. Like my, my camera will act up, I will Google it. I Google everything. So just focus on recording and trying to get the videos out versus making them perfect and just trying to be consistent. It's a lot of work. Like when you guys see us, it, it probably looks easy, but it's not, it's a lot of work. Like we got to film and then for me, it'll take me like four hours to edit. It just depends on the video and then you gotta upload and there's always some problem. Like whenever I upload, there's always an issue. Something happened, this happened, that happened, you know? All right, next question is from Pretty Beat. She wants to know, what is your biggest pet peeve? Ooh, what is my biggest pet peeve? I hate when people don't have manners. So many people don't have manners. And I don't, I'm like, what happened? Did your parents not teach you? Um, I have like a big thing if I know you and you see me speak, come say hi, say hi, be normal, you know? That's like a pet peeve of mine when people don't speak or they always wait for you to say hi to them first, like stupid stuff like that as a pet peeve. It's just like silly um, when people don't say excuse me. Oh, I guess I got a lot of pet peeves. Listen, when you open the door for someone and they don't say thank you, <laughs> like just, you know, when people are polite, I'm just like, dang, like, like, I know your parents raised you better than that or something. Hmm. All right, Drea underscore Beth wants to know, would you ever consider being a celebrity makeup artist again? No, it, no, it's just not for me, you know? I don't have the patience. I like to do my own makeup. I'll just leave it there. It's just not for me. It's a lot of work, you guys. Like these celebrity makeup artists, hairstylists, it's a lot of work. There's a lot that you have to deal with and no, 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 no. Ooh, Pretty Beat has another question. I didn't even know she had two. Okay, this one, again, is from Pretty Beat. How are the new workouts? Are you liking your new trainer? I'm missing your workout snaps. I know, I need to... So last time I worked out, I brought my phone into the actual session and I meant to record, it just didn't happen. So if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, I switch trainers because my trainer moved. So I'm boxing twice a week now and my boxing trainer holds mitts. You know, so he can't hold the phone and record me, whereas my old trainer was able to record me. So that's why you guys haven't been seeing any workout um, snaps or anything. But the new training is going so good. Like he is killing me. <laughs> you know, it's like boxing and it's not only boxing. He's like really he's a boxer himself. So he has really great form. So we're always working on my form, um, keeping my chin down, you know, moving out the way. <laughs> Um, and then conditioning, oh my gosh, like I leave there and my face is like red. I wanna take a shower, I'm, I'm done. All right, this is another question from Drea underscore Beth. She had a, hmm, she had a couple, okay. How do you stay grounded in the industry that you're in? Honestly, can I keep it real with you guys? The more I see other people show off the things that they have, the more it makes me take a step back because I don't wanna look like that. <laughs> You know, that's why you guys, like, I never show you guys my car. Um, I, you know, every once in a while, I'll show you guys, like, a bag that I get, but I'll just, like, post it on Instagram. I'll tag them. I'm not really, like, out here showing off the things that I have because that's not important in life. There's more than um, material things, you know? The more I see other people just being little show-offs and acting out, being cocky, it makes me want to just, like, ooh, let me just take a step back. All right, next question is from... Monica Toledo. She wants to know, how do you keep a relationship so strong while being on social media? Hmm, I would say communication, you know? Communication is always key with every relationship. Uh, yeah, you communicate. Like if someone, you know, slides in my DM, I let them know if someone slides in his, like we talk, you know? We communicate. Next question is from Life of Alexis. Who, what inspires your fashion? Hmm. I mean, the in Instagram inspires my fashion. I'd be looking on Instagram like, ooh, that's cute. 
that's cute. Ooh, I like this. Okay, I like this piece from here. I like this piece from here. I like this. You know what I mean? So Instagram really inspires me. Um, I have a stylist now. She inspires me. She brings me dope stuff all the time. It's cute. <laughs> so just like I'm always looking for inspo on Instagram. It's like the best tool to just find outfits, you know? Next question is from Tira. She would like to know... I work on advertising side of the industry. How can brands better identify and support underrepresented minority influencers? So, hmm, I have something to say about that. It depends, like I don't know if she's in cosmetic or fashion or, or what, what uh, department she works in, but I think it starts with having, you know, more underrepresented people working in the office so that when you guys are coming up with ideas, it's like you're taking into consideration their ideas. Having, I guess minority influencers in campaigns, just having more diversity all the way around. Boom. Anno95, Anu95 wants to know what's a piece of advice you would give to someone struggling with lack of confidence? Hmm. So for me, I feel like going to the gym, working out helps your confidence. Um, even like when I was younger, I was so super shy. Like I wouldn't talk to anybody. I was so shy, I started playing soccer. And I feel like I that made me more confident. Working out really helps your confidence because you're constantly achieving different goals and it's good for your self-esteem. So I always tell people, work out, you know, um, set a goal for yourself. Things like that really help your confidence. All right, so the next question is from Brown Mom Rising. When do you wanna get married? Hmm. Soon. No. <laughs> uh, next year. I think next year would be good. Yeah. That's my answer and I'm sticking to it. All right, next question is from Totally Tayaba. If you had to give up one beauty product, what would it be? Lipstick, gloss, eyeshadow liner, lashes, setting powder, Fix Plus, etc. <laughs> That's a hard one. I'm like, ooh, what would I get? Fix Plus. Ooh, yes. I could give up Fix Plus. I could totally give up Fix Plus. That, that's, I could do that. I could do that one. Lexi Royce wants to know, how do you feel when subscribers come up to you in random places? This actually happens all the time. And it's, I mean, I like it. It's nice. It's nice when people want to say hi to you. Um, you know, I've had people do some creepy stuff where I'm like, okay, that was a little creepy. I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I think it's really nice when people say hi. If you guys ever see me, feel free to say hi. I'm very nice in person. Very, very nice. We could do a little snap together, you know. T Makeup Goddess wants to know, hey, where did you get that travel ring light from? Hmm. So I have a ring light. It's, it's like this big. Yeah, it's like this big. And I saw that Katie had one and I was like, where is it? Where is she? She probably got it on Amazon. So I went on Amazon and I just typed in her name. I actually typed in Luster Lux ring light and then like a bunch of different ring lights came up and I just got one. I made sure it was like, I think it was 12 inches. So it's, it's like this big, but it's bomb. I traveled just one time with it and I was like, whoo, my makeup was popping when I went to New York. Casey would like to know, what is the process like when being styled by Rebecca? Rebecca is my stylist. Shout out Rebecca. Does she style based on clothes you already have in your closet? Deets please. So whenever you have a stylist, they will come and it's called a fitting. So they'll come with like a bunch of racks of clothes and you, before like they come, you tell them what you're looking for. Like, oh, I want everyday looks. I want nighttime looks, whatever. And they come with the looks. A lot of times they'll just style you based off what they bring. And then if you have clothes then they can always style you based off the clothes you have, but they always bring stuff in. And um, it's fun because you can like mix and match things or, they might have something, like say they have a top, like Rebecca might have a top and she just loves it and then I might have something in my closet to go with it. You know, so that's kind of how it goes. But I love it, it's like, trying to find an outfit for me is like, so stressful. It makes me like exhausted. I wanna just pull my, my wig off, I hate it. All right, T Lux wants to know, are you happy with your success? I know you went through some struggles or is there something else you wanna achieve that you haven't? Yes, I want to buy a house, I wanna get married. And there's some other things, but I can't tell y'all yet. <laughs> nope. Kiss and makeup would like to know, do you have any celeb client horror stories asking for a friend? Ooh, I have so many just stories when I freelance. People are crazy. People come in, they're like, make me look like Kim Kardashian. And I'm like, but you don't look like, you don't look like her. You know, like how, how am I, I, 
And then when they get their makeup done and they don't see Kim Kardashian in the mirror, it's like they're mad. It's hard. It's hard because people, or I want to look like Beyonce. And then they get the mirror after they get their makeup done, they don't look like Beyonce. It's like, what did you expect me to do? You know, I'm not a surgeon. <laughs> you know, it's stressful. It's hard because people have high expectations. Ashley Brown MUA would like to know, when you quit MAC, did you regret it at first? I'm quitting and I'm nervous and I'm excited. Thanks, boo. When I quit MAC or when I was about to quit MAC, I didn't just like quit from being full-time. I slowly, like I went down to part-time. And then I went down to like just like once a week and it just got to the point where I couldn't make my shifts. So I quit. I was like, okay, I'm not making my shifts. And when I'm at work, I feel like I'm wasting my time. So I quit. And, and I feel like you have to get to that point when you're like, okay, like going to work is inconvenient because it's getting in the way of like other jobs or, you know, of you making more money. And that's when you have to quit. So it just, it was like natural. It just, and, and when I quit, I felt like, oh, like a relief, you know, I just felt like weight was lifted off my shoulders. I felt good. Perez Jackie said, would you ever consider getting a cat at some point in your life? So when, when I see cats, like if a cat was like, I went to your house, okay. If I went to your house and you had a cat, I would pet it. I would love the cat. I'd be like, oh, it's so cute. But like, do I want cats in my house? No, I'm a dog person. I, I like dogs. I just, I just, yeah, I just don't want a bunch of cats in the house. I don't know. All right, Davis Day Beauty would like to know, at what point did you realize you wanted to be more of a beauty influencer rather than a freelance makeup artist? There was a point when I was doing makeup and I'd post my clients and I just felt like people didn't really care <laughs> about how I was doing their makeup. And they cared more about like how I did my own makeup. And um, I just stopped enjoying it. You know, it was just more of like a hassle for me when I was doing people's makeup because it's like, I already have my own problems. Like, I don't want to hear about yours. And when you do celebrities makeup or hair, that's what it is. It's like, you hear about the problem. They want like you to boost their confidence. It's like, I ain't got to, huh. I don't have time. Okay. <laughs> so it just happened naturally. Any, everything that's happened in my life, my career, it has kind of happened naturally. Like it's never, ever been forced. Oh my God, I think this is the last question. I noticed that you never use a setting spray in your video. Are you against them or are they just unnecessary? They're not really necessary if you have like oily skin or combination skin. And I feel like with me, um, my skin, well, it's like dry now. I don't know what's going on, it's changing. But it's just, what it was never necessary. I actually do use it more now when I remember. Um, whenever I bake, which I don't always bake, but if I do, I feel like when I bake, it leaves this area like super white. So when I use a setting spray, I feel like it really sets the powder into my skin. So I like it now. I just wasn't much of a setting spray girl, you know, but I do use it and I like Fix Plus. Look, I have it right here. Thank you guys for watching my Twitter Q&A. Hopefully I answered your question. If you guys like to see more videos like this of us just chatting, me answering your questions, maybe a Snapchat Q&A, let me know in the comments. Let me know. Subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, Shut and slay. If you guys like the, is there something in my mouth? Is that like a thing? Is that, you know? <laughs> Sometimes when I talk, I like hold my breath. I'll be like, Ugh.